everyone! My name is Sarah Johnson and I'm a pediatric occupational therapist and part of the infant development team here at Emerge Pediatric Therapy. I am here today to talk to you about three-point crawling and an exercise you can do if your infant is demonstrating three-point crawling. So first let's talk about what exactly three-point crawling is. So when we're talking about the developmental milestones of crawling, what we want to see is quadruped or crawling on all fours, much like this. So both hands are on the ground and both knees are on the ground. In infants who have an asymmetry, whether it be due to torticollis or a trunk asymmetry where one side is tighter than the other, sometimes we will see a three-point crawl, which will look like this. So they have one leg up, and one leg over, one leg under, and this leg that's up never goes under truly into all fours. This type of crawling has a couple different names. So it can be a three-point crawl. Some people call it a hike crawl because that one leg is up. And then it also has been classified as a janky crawl. The reason we want to address this is because the longer your infant does that specific motor pattern, the more likely they are to have more tightness and actually strengthening one side more than the other. And if an infant is doing that, what we often see is asymmetries in pulling to stand and subsequently in walking. So it's definitely something we want to address early on. There is a really simple way to address it. Um, and this is a trunk rotation stretch. So I'm actually gonna have you do it on yourself first to feel it and then I'll demonstrate on the baby. So for this exercise, you are just gonna have yourself seated on the floor. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your arms out and you're gonna rotate your body, just working on moving that trunk to one side and then to the other side. And you are gonna feel on yourself which one is easier, okay? For me, this side was easier. So that is the side I'm then gonna stretch. I know this is a little bit different. A lot of times when we're stretching, we're stretching the side that's harder. But the idea behind this trunk, trunk stretch is when you go towards the easy side, you're subsequently releasing the tighter side, okay? So once you've felt that on yourself, we're gonna try it on your infant. I like to do this as a seated exercise, and I can show you how we engage with toys in it as well. But you're gonna have your infant on your lap, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take their arms, and you are going to rotate, just like we did, to both sides, and see which side is easier, okay? I'm gonna say that this side was easier in this infant. I am then going to hold that stretch and I'll even put my arms through the legs and pull the legs one way and the shoulder the other way. So we're actually getting an upper trunk and a lower trunk twist at the same time. And sometimes when I'm doing this with my infants, I will actually have them here on the floor and I'll have them over my leg. I can have a toy or a mirror out here and they're engaging, then I can sneak over here and get a little bit of that lower leg twist. When you're working on this stretch, you're gonna work on it to your infant's tolerance. So you're gonna to continue to do that stretch as long as they'll tolerate it and they're not fussing at you. Typically, I recommend two to three minutes, but it's totally okay to work up to that as you go. The important thing with this stretch is you just wanna do it to the easier side. If you do it to both sides, you're actually not addressing that tightness and really targeting the muscle that we want to be working on. I tend to tell parents that if your child is demonstrating that asymmetrical crawling with one leg up, I will work on this trunk stretch before we're gonna do four times, maybe two to three times a day, right before they're working on crawling, so we can get that trunk nice and elongated, get that symmetrical movement, and then work on the functional scale afterwards. If you have any questions regarding your infant's development or specifically crawling, please reach out and we'd be more than happy to answer your questions. Thanks so much.